Hey guys, my name is Brodrenalin, but you can call me the Alolan Snorlax, and in this video I'll be showing you the fastest way to EV train in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Before we get started, you'll need a few items to make this as fast as it is. These are power items first off, so the power bracer, the power belt, power anklet, all of these. You can buy these at the Battle Royale Dome. You'll also need adrenaline orbs which you can buy from shops in the Pokemon centers all over Alola. And an op well, two optional things, you can have a Pokemon with False Swipe and you can have Pokerus. Pokerus makes all of this twice as fast because it doubles your EV gains. I'll be doing a Pokerus giveaway sometime in the future, so make sure you check the description and follow me on socials. That's where I'll be doing all my giveaways, such as the Ditto giveaway. I'm doing a six IV Ditto away. Ditto away? <laughs> Ditto giveaway on the 23rd because that's the European release. That's when I get access to the GTS. So yeah, make sure you're following all of that. But let's get back to explaining what these items do and how they make this method so fast. So power items are a hold item for Pokemon that you want to gain extra EVs. The Power Bracer, for example, in Gen 6 would give you four extra attack EVs whenever the Pokemon holding the item gained experience. However, in Gen 7, these items have been buffed and you now gain eight EVs on top of the base EV gains from Pokemon you've defeated, meaning that you would gain nine attack EVs from defeating a Mankey. And I'll be using Mankey for the rest of this video just to keep things simple and as an example. Another thing you'll be using that you don't need to go and get is the XP share. As I mentioned previously, all Pokemon that gain experience while they're holding a power item gain bonus EVs. So this applies to the XP share. So you can have all six Pokemon gain the same set of EVs. So you can get 252 EVs in a single stat on six Pokemon in one battle. That's crazy. Let me explain some more. The reason we're buying adrenaline orbs and optionally using false swipe is that a low health Pokemon with an adrenaline orb thrown at it will have a much higher chance to call for SOS Pokemon for other Pokemon to help it in battle. Now this is very important and all but before we go more into SOS Pokemon I'm going to quickly show you how to spread Pokerus for those of you who don't know because if you do have Pokerus on a Pokemon you can put it onto your whole team before you actually start this method and it will mean that instead of having to defeat 14 Pokemon, you only have to defeat 7 to get 252 EVs in a single stat. And you can do that in one battle, like I said before. So to spread Pokerus, you'll need to put a Pokemon that has Pokerus in either the 2nd or 5th slot in your party. Make sure to turn XP share off, as you can still spread Pokerus without it on. Now go into a battle and defeat the Pokemon, and after the battle is done, there is a chance the Pokerus will spread to the Pokemon that are next to the Pokerus Pokemon. That's kind of confusing, but if it's in the 2nd slot, then the first and third Pokemon may contract Pokerus. Once you've done that, you can then change the second slot to the fifth slot, and you'll, you'll be able to give it to the fourth and sixth slot, and then all of your Pokemon have Pokerus. You can also make sure that you preserve Pokerus for another time by putting a Pokemon that has Pokerus into your PC, and then that will stall out the timer because Pokerus lasts between one and four days of when they get Pokerus. So, you will randomly see it disappear on your Pokemon, but don't worry about that. As long as you keep one Pokemon with it on, you'll be fine. Now that you've spread Pokerus to the Pokemon you want to EV train and you've given them the Power Bracer, because for this example we're going to be training attack EVs, let's head to Route 3 and find a Mankey. Once you get into battle with Mankey, throw an Adrenaline Orb at it and keep using False Swipe as it calls for help. Every time it calls for help, make the Pokemon that appears faint, but not the regular Mankey. Do this 7 times and you will gain 252 attack EVs. Once you've done 7, you should be able to see from your PP, especially if you're using something like Dragon Claw where you only use 7 and then you've got 8 left, that you've defeated 7 of them. Then you can defeat the original Mankey and end the battle. And that means that if you had XP share on and you actually remembered to turn it on because I forgot, then all of your party will gain max attack EVs. Here you can see that Garchomp has max attack EVs but I didn't have the XP share on, so he was the only one who was affected. Another quick tip is that you can press the Y button when viewing a Pokemon summary to see the EVs, like how you would see them back in Super Training's menu. However, now if you have 252 in a stat, it will look all nice and shiny, telling you that you have 252 in that stat. Anyway, that's about all we have time for in this video. Hopefully you now know how to train EVs efficiently. I'll be doing a follow up video of like the best spots to train each stat, so make sure to check that out. You can also check out the rest of my channel if you'd like to see more useful content. Also let me know if you'd be down to battle in the next few days, either on Pokemon Showdown or on the Sun and Moon games, because I have a lot of things to try and make videos for. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and 
Maybe I'll see you soon.